is my you think, and it's also a question of Imagine. capacity uh, of the police force to be able to tackle this crime. Now, what uh, the local superintendent of police mentions is important, but there has to be, in my view, some kind of a national cyber security framework where no matter where the criminal is sitting, no matter where the crime has occurred, there has to be a national all-out approach to try and deal with this cyber crime because this business of jurisdiction is important in a local policing context, but cyber crime simply doesn't operate in that framework. That's true, Rahul, and then that is why, you know, uh, dealing with this problem post-action might be very, very difficult. We are already clogged by 90% of this cyber crime cases which are OTP frauds, and now uh, there is a new pattern which is turning up, which is basically, uh, you know, this... Uh, extortion scams where you suddenly get a random video call on your number from some uh, you know a girl and the moment you pick up the call they take a uh, you know uh, uh, they are uh, not wearing clothes and they take a screenshot of you and then they uh, try to send those obscene photos to your family and friends and try to snatch money out of you uh, by blackmailing you so uh, see the at the heart of all these scams be it otp scams extortions or you know other uh, uh, nefarious scams is the problem of uh, you know uh, kyc these people are able to obtain fraudulent sims they are able to continue using those uh, sims despite of getting reported i mean you put a number on uh, this uh, spam reports or government portal the sims continue for three four days five days so i think the heart of the problem is the the broken kyc in india and unless or until see you can have a choice either you take up a vaccine to uh, you know uh, escape from corona or you can go for a doctor's treatment after you have got covid so i think so the vaccination is much cheaper and more effective likewise here a fixing kyc system will be much more effective than trying to deal with this problem of jurisdictions and then forming cells police stations how many cases you will deal with and i'm told in up itself 3 lakh cases are pending do you have the system manpower wherewithal to deal with those cases and sorry to say rahul i think our system mostly deal with those influential cases where some politician is calling up or a big cop is calling up to put pressure what about the poor guys or who are on the last leg of society the poor farmers people who have got lost 4000 rupees 5000 rupees for some people it is a you know a year saving for some people it is just simple pocket money so i think our system is busy dealing with those uh, fraud of 15 lakh 20 lakh rupees but i am more worried about this you voluminous the uh, number of frauds which are just 5000 7000 rupees spawn from poor people mm -hmm. i think to deal with that we need to fix kyc very very urgently and i and one good thing government and uh, you know mhc has done is to find a way to freeze this money of 48 hours as my fellow the panelists were saying that you call a 1930 tell the number where the fraud, uh, money after the fraud is gone and they are able to put a freeze of 48 hours giving you a golden window to you know go and file a complaint with the police and the bank and all those things so I think another step has to be taken to fix the KYC system. If you don't fix that, if people can still continue to obtain fraudulent SIM cards, these scams will go on no matter what you do.